All right, guys, so I wanted to talk about something that's super awesome for a concept in math, and it's called fractions. So fractions, you guys, are looking at how many parts of a, it takes to make a whole of something and how many parts of that that we have. So you guys have some cards here. You've got green, orange, light blue, and dark blue. But I'm going to take you through kind of what those mean. If you've done some of the measuring work already, um, you've already seen kind of how we can break up an inch uh, into four different parts. You can actually break it up further, but we'll talk about that later. Um, fractions can go smaller than one fourth, but for beginning, we're only going to go through that one fourth, or through the quarters. So, one fourth or one quarter is a fraction that you guys have looked at already for my whiteboard's going to hit me in the face. For Measuring. So you have one, a line in between, and a four. It can also look like this. Both mean the same thing. So, with this in mind, you guys, I'm going to erase my slash mark here. La, 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 la. Your bottom is your denominator. D, E, N, O, denominator. Give me one moment to make sure. Yep. D, O, D, E, N, O. M I N A T O R. Or if we're going to spell it bigger, D E N O M I N A T O R. A super long word. And the denominator tells us how many parts of the whole. So to get a whole, we would need four whole parts in this case. Up here, you guys, we have our numerator. which is spelled N-U-M-E-R-A-T-O-R, which if I wrote it bigger down here would be M-U-M-E-R-A-T-O-R. And your numerator tells you how many parts of the whole that we have. Um, if you guys look, in this case, we have one out of four parts, but I could do... Something that would be two out of four parts. I could do three out of four parts. I could do four out of four parts. And I could even go above four. And I could do five out of four parts. That gets tricky because then that bigger number is bigger than my denominator, which I'll show in just a moment. So, with that in mind, we're going to look at your actual fraction circle, you guys. And I'm going to erase my whiteboard here for a moment. So, fraction circles. We're going to start with your green, and you've got two oranges. So, I'm going to put it on my clipboard so you guys can kind of see it. I've got my green. I have one piece here. So, I'm going to write the number 1 on the back. So, I have one piece here. Then, I put one of the orange pieces on. It covers up exactly half of my circle. There we go. Exactly half. And then I can stick this guy on, and it covers exactly the other half. So these two parts together make a whole. So what you guys are going to write on the back is 1 over 2. So 1 half. It's going to end up looking like that on the back. 1 half. Because this is one of two parts that make up a whole. Now, if I put them together, I could say that I have two out of two parts. Two out of two parts. But I know that two out of two parts equals one, because it equals my one whole. So two out of two just equals one because that is one 
hole so that those two parts make up. So a half and a half makes a hole. And then we're going to go to your light blue set next. So if I put part of my light blue circle over my green, it looks like that. And then I can add, I can try to put that one there, but I'm going to fit my pieces together here. And I'm going to put them next to each other. And I'll have you guys do the same with your fraction pieces. Add those guys. And then I have a third piece here. Oh, gosh. When I add my third piece, it equals a whole. So these are one third pieces because they're one third of a whole. I have two here, I would have two thirds. And if I had three, I would have three thirds. But on the back of these, each one of these, you're gonna write one third. It's gonna look about like that, one third. Because this is one third of a whole. Now if I had two thirds, like I have here, then I would know if I wrote two over three that I have that much of a whole two-thirds. And I could write three-thirds again, but if I look, I know that three-thirds equals one. One whole. So, that is our thirds. Next, you guys, we're going to look at our last set. So far, we've had one, a set of two, and a set of three. So I'm going to be thinking for a second, what do you think next set is going to be part of? One, two, three. You said four. You were right. The next thing we're going to look at is fourths. And I'll show you what those guys look like on our fractions. So, oh no, my one tried to fly away. Go back, go back. It's not going to come back. I got it. So those are your dark blue ones here. So if I put in one dark blue here, maybe one. I've got one, well, not quite one fourth because it's off center there. There we go. One fourth. If I stick another one up, I have two fourths. Wait a second. If I look at this guy, what is two fourths the same as? This guy. I place them over the same amount. Oh my gosh, it fits over. Two fourths is the same as one half. So rather than writing two fourths, I would write one half. But if I have three fourths, like we did some, for some of our measuring for inches, I would still want to write want to write three fourths because three fourths isn't equal to anything we've had so far. So I've got three fourths, and then if I add my fourth one up here, I've got four fourths. And four fourths, you guys can see, makes one whole. So four fourths is the same as one. And that is what you guys can do with fractions. So you guys can kind of play around and see how many different ways you can get a whole number one with your different fraction pieces. And let me know what you find. Or you could play around and see kind of what the different sizes are between things like one third and one fourth or two fourths got here lined up on my back and one third There's, you can look at the differences in some sizes and kind of play around with those guys too so i'll let you do that work and thanks for watching with me guys have fun